This tutorial is brought to you by Free Switch Solutions. Get the Free Switch Advantage. Hello, Free Switch community. Welcome back to Free Switch with Fred. This time I'm going to be discussing high availability in Free Switch. Let's take a scenario where you have your call center or your contact center and you have your PBX running in one location on a single virtual machine. Yes, the users are registered well and your customers are calling in perfect. And we look at a scenario where we have a network outage. This is going to become costly and you're going to have unhappy customers at the end of the day. Fortunately for you, a free switch user, free switch works in high availability mode. You will need a minimum of two virtual machines of free switch. One server will run free switch as the master and another server will remain in redundancy mode. Each server will have its own IP address. We configure a third IP that will be jumping between these two servers and that IP is called the virtual IP. There are softwares that are configured on both the master server and the slave server to monitor the service of free switch. If the free switch service stops, this software will deactivate the IP on the master server and notify the slave server to take over. The phones on the network will be registered onto the virtual IP. This way, if one server goes down, the phones are not affected they'll continue registering to that virtual IP because the virtual IP stays active at all times. Under the hood of this setup, we are having each free server save its configurations in a dynamic database. In my example, I'm going to use Postgres database and I'm using the version 9.4 which has bidirectional replication by default. If you want to use the latest version of Postgres, you will have to check out the instructions on how to set up bidirectional replication. For the simplicity of this video, I'm going to create a sample table on one of the databases and clearly show you that this is automatically replicated on the other server. Having showcased that, we can now move on to configuring the virtual IP on the systems. For the virtual IP, we are going to use a software called Keep Alive. This is a software that is used in heartbeat environment or in high availability environment. It helps us achieve IP failover. As you can see, I've already configured keepalive.conf and in this file we define two scripts ka status and ka notify we also define the virtual ip which we call the floating ip these scripts will be notifying keep alive if the free switch server is running let us take a look at what is written inside these scripts The status script will check the status of free switch and then log a notification that the service is running or the service has failed. The notify script will make sure that free switch will recover calls automatically when free switch starts up. Please note that these scripts are running on both the master and slave server. Then we are also going to make sure that free switch saves its configurations into a database. You all know that by default configurations of free switch are saved in XML files, but there is also functionality whereby free switch can actually save its configurations in a database. 
For those of you who have used Fusion PBX, Fusion PBX utilizes this functionality very well because it actually saves the configurations of free switch inside a database. In this video, I'm going to borrow an SQL script from the Fusion PBX GIT repository. You can as well create this script for yourself, but Mark J. Crane has done a good job of doing this script for us, so I'll borrow that script and I give credit to him for having created this script. So I will borrow this script and use it to populate the tables of all configurations of free switch. After populating the tables, of course, we are doing this on one server and we are going to check on the slave server. These tables should have been created automatically. Having configured the floating IP, we have to update that IP on all C profiles. After updating the IP in the C profiles, we restart free switch to make sure that it, it, it updates the C profiles. This way, all phones will be able to register using the virtual IP. And hence, when one of the servers fails, the phones will remain registered. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to advance your knowledge in free switch, check out our website for the best training offers. Or you can meet us at the Glucon Conference in Illinois, Chicago.